It's a new release of Trap Code Particular, and this release aims to reduce the amount of energy you spend working with your tools and get you to your creative destination faster. This includes a bunch of new features, including a built-in ground plane for bounce physics, child inheritance upgrades, and improved gradient interpolation models. That's enough marketing blab, let's get to it. The built-in ground plane eliminates steps and shortens your path to results. You don't have to create and reference external layers just to set up a bounce plane. A couple of clicks and you're off and bouncing. Let's see it in action. I've got a system set up with particles spewing out, just a little bit of turbulence and some gravity to make them fall down. Then, instead of having to pick an After Effects layer when you want to bounce, you just say, hey, enable the ground plane. And it brings in a default ground plane. And you can adjust the height, and you can adjust how it's tilted, and how it's rolled so it'll, you know, it'll bounce however you, you want. Um, the great thing about this is that you don't have to reference After Effects 3D layers. You can actually play with bouncing right here um, before you even have to set up anything. And it also means that there can be presets. So we've got some nice bounce presets set up here for you. Uh, you can also save your own presets now and you'll get the bouncing behavior that you desire. And of course, it still works with the After Effects bounce layer. So you can have up to three After Effects 3D layers uh, that can be set to work on the layer size, the layer alpha, or as an infinite plane. So you can have up to four bounce layers now. Much nicer. The power to drive particle type, size, and opacity for multiple systems from a single parent drastically expands the creative possibilities of parent-child setups. I've got this cool little setup using Collider Space. Got some trails coming off. Well, it looks pretty good. Um, but my main particle shapes are, you know, they, they, there's some opacity to them and there's some, there's some size differences to them. You can't really see because the trails are all the same. Well, if we say to inherit the opacity from the parent, there we go. They look a lot more like what their parent is and then inherit the size from their parent. And you can see just how big of a difference it makes. Uh, the par parent particles, as you can see here, are sizing up and down and up and down. And now uh, the child ones who are forming the trails do the same thing. So it gives you a whole world of possibilities. Uh, you can now inherit the particle type as well. So if you've got sprites or other things going on in here, the particle type can now also be inherited from the parent. Uh, but you'll notice uh, here that the opacity, even though it's inheriting it from the parent, it then also has its own fade down. So it's 100% here is the parent op uh, particle's opacity. And so it's 100% of the parent particle's opacity, and then it drops down to 0%. And same with the size. You can add the size of the parent is 100%, and then you can make it go down from there. Again, it opens up lots more creative possibilities for you. Speaking of creative possibilities, having multiple color gradient interpolation models empowers you as an artist, giving you a wider array of creative choices and possibilities. Well, let me show you what I mean. People might not think gradient interpolation is that exciting, but let me tell you, it really is. So I've got this cool particle set up. They're emitting from this ring going up. They've got some nice turbulence and whatnot. But the important thing is the color. Uh, previously, in Trap Code Particular, you would put in your colors into your gradient and it would use RGB interpolation. The original RGB interpolation would kind of get muddy in the middle, so you'd have to add like knots and whatever, but now you've got more choices. Uh, you can pick HCL, LAB, HSV in addition to the old RGB. Um, for this particular example, I like the HSV. I think it passes through the colors very nicely and it gives you a much nicer look versus the old RGB. Now this might be the look you're going for, so that option is still still there, but I like I like this one. It gives much more vibrant colors, the beginning and end, the same exact colors, it just has a much different path through the color wheel to get from A to B. Mirror Mode is the new magic easy button to enable the creation of perfectly symmetrical curves. No more fussing to get that perfect size over X falloff. Uh, here, let me show you. Previously, uh, in particular, or form, if you wanted to get your particle uh, graphs to be even, drag the things up and just like try to try to get it right. And if you've got, you know, things going you're like oh trying to get it right in the middle and it was a little complicated but now all you have to do is hit mirror and now changes made on one side are reflected on the other so you can get that symmetry your heart has so desperately desired accessing the after effects color picker from the particular designer offers you a consistent experience regardless of where you're working let muscle memory take over and unleash your creativity I mean, it may seem like a small thing, but when you double click 
or when you go to pick colors in Trap Code, particularly as designer, now After Effects color picker pops up instead of your system color picker. I know it's a small thing, but uh, makes it just, it makes your flow go better. Sorry for that loud music update, but one, I wanted to wake you back up, and two, I'm very excited about these new updates that were in particular and now are in sound keys. So you can pick from the lovely preset gradients here. Uh, you can change the uh, gradient color mapping interpolation. Uh, you can make them step. You can flip the gradient. You can distribute the knots. All the kind of fun tools you're used to from Trapcode Particulars updated gradient tools now here in sound keys. And hey, if you didn't know this update was in Trapcode Particular, hey, now you know. And those beautiful new color and curve UI updates that were recently introduced in particular have also made their way into 3D Stroke. Again, your gradients are now able to be set to HSV and they've got all the lovely presets are here at your fingertips to pick from, save your own, all that kind of fun stuff. And all the fun features like being able to set your color chips to step and all those other kind of things you're used to from the Trapco particular updates. And also the thickness over path has also been updated, including the ability to mirror it. So your thing can be symmetrical across the middle here or turn mirroring off. Let's pick a preset of uh, that one. There you go. 3D stroke has gone crazy. So there, happy new release day. I'm very excited, especially about the child inheritance things, the ability to have this opacity and the size, especially inherited from the parent just makes me very excited, but also the ability to make all these new presets for you. Hey, go out there, have fun and tag red giant when you make cool things.